All right, everybody. Welcome to November. Welcome to Tuesday. Yeah, we made it through October. We survived, and it was really cool, but we'll talk more about that later. First, let's get into some headlines for November, shall we? These two headlines were back-to-back. -back. Coincidence? I think not. Archaeologists unearth medieval skeleton with a prosthetic hand. Hmm. The next one right next to it. Ten directions Terminator 7 could go to save the $2 billion franchise from extinction. Hmm, maybe Terminator is way back in time. Who knows, might work. Moving right along, Broncos, the Broncos, Denver Broncos celebrated 24-9 upset over the Chiefs by playing, once the game was done, they played Taylor Swift's Shake It Off. Shake it off. Shake it off. Oh, yeah. You lost to the Broncos. They got the worst record in football. Shake it off. Shake it off. I don't think so. They're going to come back and kick someone else's butt because they're the Chiefs. That's what they do. Yeah. And I should stop singing. Yep. All right. Uh, ten Tom Cruise movies that still need sequels made. I'm going with Outsiders. We should call them Insiders. The sequel should be called Insiders. And they're really, they're in an old folks home and they're having a gang war and turf war inside the old folks home. They're like beating each other with their canes and their walkers. You know, that'd be pretty, be pretty funny. Pony Boy and Dallas and all those guys are all like ancient in their wheelchairs and stuff like that. Be kind of funny. Ah, uh, don't sleep on Legend. Tom Cruise movie from way back when. Actually, really, really cool show. Very unique, very, very different, but, uh, could use a, uh, there, there could be a sequel there. I don't know. Could be a sequel there. Moving along. It is November. We're into November. But yesterday was our Halloween party. And it was really, 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 really cool. Everyone dressed up. We had a lot of people dressed up. Really, really cool. Very good costumes. We had a great costume contest. Super proud of everybody putting their time, effort, and energy and their creativity into those costumes. And then the staff as well. Very good costumes. Absolutely. Uh, nice job there. The food was outstanding. We had spaghetti and meatballs, but the meatballs were actually eyeballs. And the uh, salad dressing was shot out of a syringe. It was really, really cool. And then dessert. Who knew that a graveyard would be dessert? A grave was dessert. That's crazy. But really, really creative with the brownies. It was a graveyard and the gravestones in it and stuff. Very cool. A lot of time, effort, and energy and creativity went into all that stuff. So that was very cool. Totally appreciative. Everybody loved it. Let's give the staff and everybody a round of applause for all the great effort they put in to making yesterday awesome, including... All right, all right, all right. Calm down, calm down. Including... The movie trailers. The movie trailers were great. They're outstanding. So good. Last year was a beginning and we tested it out and it was fun. But this year, man, you guys really upped your game. Very, very good stuff. We'll show them. I was going to show them today. Didn't really work out. I'm running behind. So we're going to show them tomorrow or Friday, but we'll see them this week. Also going to put together a little video of the excitement and the activity and the fun that we had yesterday for our Halloween party. That will be showing up here soon. And a sneak of uh, one of the most unique costumes that I personally thought was uh, interesting. We'll see that uh, later as well, later in the week as well. Anyway, it is November. We've got to get ready for the changes in the, in the weather and stuff. It's cooler at night, although we're getting some decent, you know, low 70s temperatures here, but we got some rain in the forecast, so it's just that time of year, right? That's what happens during November. And we get thankful. We start thinking about what we're thankful for and whatnot. We got lots of cool stuff planned all month long. We got an activity that we're gonna do every single week that's gonna be something that we're gonna utilize in December. In a couple weeks, we have our mock job fair, our November mock job fair, which is a really cool theme. Not sure where it came from, but Pirates and Pilgrims. Yeah, last year we had the pirate job fair. That was really, really cool. So this year, because it's Thanksgiving time, it's Pirates and Pilgrims. So we'll see how creative the staff is around that one. That should be fun. It's coming up in a couple weeks. And then, of course, we'll do our December one as well. But we'll talk about that when we get there. And then, of course, we have our big barbecue Friday on a Wednesday right before Thanksgiving coming up. Uh, so super excited about that. It's always a really good time. We'll have our Thanksgiving tree where we hang what we're thankful for on leaves throughout the building. It's going to be really, really cool. We're going to have a great month. Very excited to spend it with you guys. So without further ado, we got to get into the first national day of November right here.
Good morning, everybody. Here we are. We're all in a sugar coma, right? Uh, it's Wednesday. It's the first day of November. So it's our first what? Day of November. Yeah. Uh, those trick-or-treaters last night, they were something else. The party was great. I ate too much candy. Sugar coma. Yes. Mm-hmm. So, eating all of that sugar, what should today's national day be? I give you... Now, I won't even give you a hint. You should get it. You should know. What is it? Yeah, uh huh, uh-huh. National Brush Your Teeth Day. Yeah. Gotta get that sugar gooey off of there. Well, anything you eat, you gotta get it off, but make sure you know today on National Brush Your Teeth Day, right? And there's never an excuse to not brush your teeth. Like, oh, I'm on vacation, so I don't have to brush my teeth. Oh, I didn't eat too much today, so I don't have to brush my teeth. Um, yeah, there's not an excuse. Brush your teeth. And brush your tongue while you're at it. Nobody wants to smell your dirty mouth, okay? Nobody wants to see your dirty teeth. And nobody wants to see the green stuff or the Snickers left in your teeth from last night. Just don't want to see it. Blech. Nor smell it. And you don't want a cavity that's going to cause from not brushing your teeth. So, you got a day to keep reminding you. But you should be doing it how many times a day? At least two times. Be nice if you did it after every meal you ate. But that doesn't always happen at lunchtime and I know. But you got to brush your teeth. Brush them in the morning and brush them before you go to bed would be the best thing. And I know some of you have got some Snickers left in your teeth. Alana, she's got a lot of peanut butter cup in her teeth. I know it. She's a closet peanut butter cup girl. She just don't want us to know. I know. Ah, mm -hmm. So, everybody have a great day on the first day of the month of November as we go into our thankful month. Have a great day and brush your teeth. Very cool, very cool. All right, moving right along, let's get back into the bearded past with the future November, or the present of the, never mind, this deck. Well, hey, hey, everybody, it's November 1st. October is done. Halloween is over. I hope you guys had a great time. Ray, obviously, giving a shout out because he's so excited about Halloween. Um, no, but, uh, it's, it's November. Here we are, man. Uh, you know, the holidays have hit, and we're getting ready to hit those. Uh, the next couple here and uh you know enjoy you guys so but let's go ahead and today it's work related stuff with zach we're no longer the no longer some random werewolf sitting in here and one of the things i want to talk about today guys is um you know it is okay to look for work and go to an interview and after that interview you know realize maybe that this job is not the right job for you um i say this because it's important because you know you don't have to take something that you don't feel comfortable doing because if you take something and then you do this job for a while or like a week or two and then you realize you don't like it really you know yeah you took a chance on it and that's great but also too these are things that you probably should go into with a little bit more knowledge before you go into the job, right? Um, I mean, obviously, there's certain situations that you're not going to be able to foresee um, going into every job. But a lot of times, you know, that is your chance during the interview to ask them questions. Ask them why they like working here. Ask them, you know, the questions about what brought them here. You know, what, what made them want to be a part of this team and 
and and then really feel out what you're going to be walking into because like i said it's okay to afterwards get the phone call and simply say you know i appreciate the offer uh, but uh, at this point i'm, I'm going to move forward with something else and and that's okay it does look a lot better than getting the job and then walking in in two three weeks later saying i can't do this i'm going to quit so guys something to take into consideration remember when you want to start looking for a job you got to be all in right you got to be all in can't have one foot in the water guys okay i appreciate it guys take care and have a good one thank you work work related stuff stuff, stuff, stuff with zach, zach. zach. Very good, and that is it. That is the first episode for November. Here we go. We're getting into that next and final, almost final month of 2023, if you can believe it. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see a YouTube Live, 1 o'clock, for Job Hunt Live, where we'll talk about, yes, Surrey Bob. There's still jobs that we can go get. Take care, everybody.